And of course, there's going to be the naysayer saying, hey, he did it in two different leagues, in Japan and the major leagues. And of course, but here with the Marlins, we're saying this is quite a remarkable feat, regardless of how many you've acquired overseas. And uh, it's just a fun thing to watch right now. Ichiro has been a consummate professional, and we're enjoying the ride right now. Niner, you've been to Japan. You've seen what it's like over there. I don't think people here grasp what type of superstar Ichiro is in Japan. Can, can you give us a little feel of what that scene was like? I mean, here in America, okay, we think of Michael Jordan. We hear uh, about Babe Ruth. We hear about these monster athletes here in America. But when you go to Japan and think about Ichiro, we're talking beyond what Michael Jordan was, I think, as far as uh, what we see here in America. This is the press conference announcing his signing with the Marlins uh, two years ago. This is the newspaper clippings that you saw uh, while we were there for a few days. Uh, we were uh, with him a, a number of times while we were over there uh, covering the press conference, the, the adulation, the, uh, the, the, the tenets of what goes on in, in America compared to what goes on in, in, in Japan. We went to uh, a dinner with him one night, and as we're crossing the street going into the restaurant, there was a mother and her child, four-year-old daughter, daughter, by the way, walking the sidewalk before we crossed into the restaurant. The daughter looks up as she saw Ichiro pass in front of her. She goes, tugs at the mom's arm and says, Ichiro, four <laughs> years old, daughter. That's the, that's that's awesome. the uh, enormity wow. of what we're dealing with in Japan and Ichiro uh, over there. It, it's truly remarkable. Huh?